Hello friends, this video on circles part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 3. The question says two tangent TP and TQ are drawn to a circle with center O from external point T. We have to prove that angle PTQ is equal to 2 twice of angle OP. So what is the approach we should follow? The first thing we should know is before solving the problem, what is given to us? The first thing we know is this angle is 90 degree. Why? Because TP is tangent. So tangent is perpendicular to radius. We know this. Also, we know that from a given point T, if you draw two chain end, both the sides are equal. Both the tangent are equal actually. So TP will be equal to TQ. That means this angle will be equal to this angle. These things we know, correct? That is, we know that angle TEQ is equal to angle TQP. That is, we know, and angle TPO is 90 degree. So, we know these two. So, what we can do? Let's assume that this value is x. This value is also x. If TPQ is equal to x, TQP will also become x. Let's assume both are x. Let's just try to find the values of uh, other angle in terms of x now. So angle T, that is angle P, T, Q, this angle plus these two angles is equal to 180. So we'll say P, T, Q plus angle T, P, Q plus angle T, Q, P is equal to 180 degree. Why? Sum of angles of an angle or we can say that angle P, T, Q plus x plus x is equal to 180 degree so, or angle T becomes 180 degree minus 2x. Correct? This is nothing but 180 degree minus 2x. So, I have got this angle T in form of x. Now, let me find this angle O P Q, this angle. OPQ in terms of x. This angle is x, the whole uh, and this angle is 90 degree. So this becomes what? 90 minus x. Very simple. Why? This is x, this is whole thing is 90. This is going to mess. Why? I can just prove also. Mathematically, if you see angle OPT is equal to angle OPQ plus angle QPT. Correct? Going with the figure, this complete angle is nothing but this angle plus this angle or angle OPQ is something we find. OPQ is nothing but angle OPT minus angle QPT. OPT is 90 degree and QPT is x. This is 90 degree minus x. Now, if you see, this is 90 degree minus x and this is 180 degree minus 2x, this is nothing but 2 into 90 degree minus x. So, what we can see that angle PTQ is equal to 2 into 90 degree minus x. Correct? And 90 degree minus x is nothing but angle this one OPQ. This is nothing but angle OP. And thus we have proved what we are supposed to prove. Just what we have done here, we have put this value P and Q be X and X each and then we tried to find the value of angle T and angle O, P, Q in terms of X. And then we saw that the relation holds true. Correct? We will take an example. From a point Q, the length of the tangent to a circle is 24 and the distance of Q from the circle Center is 25. We have to find the radius of the circle. Let's draw first, then only things will be clear. So, this is a circle, and this is my tangent. And let's suppose this is my point Q only. The length of the tangent is 24, and the distance of this point Q from the center is 25. So, this is my center. So, the question says the length of the tangent is 24. This guy is 24. 
and the distance of this point Q from center is 25. We have to find the radius. This is the radius of the circle. We know that since Q, let's suppose this name is QT, is a tangent, QP has to be perpendicular to OQ. Correct? QP, QP should be perpendicular to OP. Why? Because QP is tangent. Correct? Since QP is tangent, QP has to be perpendicular to OP. Now, since QP is perpendicular to OP, this is a right triangle. Finding OP is very easy. OP is nothing but root of OQ square minus QP square. And this is nothing but root of 25 square minus 24 square. And this is nothing but root of 25 square is 625, 24 square is 576. And this is nothing but root of 49 and that comes out to be 7. So R is nothing but 7. Very simple. What we have done? We knew that OP is tangent. So OP has to be perpendicular to OQ. Q, we got this right triangle. We used Pythagoras theorem to solve that. Let's take one more example. If TP and TQ are tangents to a circle with center O, so that POQ is equal to 1, 1, 0 degree, we have to find angle PPQ. It's a very simple question actually. So if you see this, this triangle and this angle is 90 degree. We know. Why? Because PT is tangent, so PT is perpendicular to PO. Correct? PT is perpendicular to PO, OP. And similarly here also, QT has to be perpendicular to Q. Correct? Now if you see, if you assume this is X degree, so if you add all the angles of a quadrilateral, this is 360. So we can see that X degree plus 90 degree for this, plus 110 degree for this, plus 90 degree for this is equal to 360 or x is nothing but 360 degree minus you add 110 plus 90 200 plus 90 290 correct so or x equal to 360 minus 290 that is nothing but 70 degree so this is 70 degree very simple to solve what we have done we just knew that the tangents are perpendicular to the radius through point of contact Tangents are perpendicular to radius through point of contact. So these two are 90 each. This is 110 given. So this becomes 70 degree. Let's take one. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.